Hi people of the Philippines and people of the world, hit the button below and you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking. Kaibigan, tuloy ang usap. Bella, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Welcome to the What interview. I call this the What interview. This is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? First? Good, very good. My gosh, the last time I saw you, you were shooting a film. <laughs> Nagsha shooting lang tayo. Artista ho ako. Yes. Uh, Gumawa ho kami ng pelikula ni Bella. <laughs> yes. Abangan yun po. Very special role. <laughs> okay. The title of the movie is. Yung libro sa napanood ko. Yeah. Ang ganda-ganda po, di ba? Ang libro sa napanood ko. Yes. That triggers a conversation right away. I, I think so too. Actually, I, Tito Boy, I wanted to change the title to If because we're using If by River Maya as our theme song. Oh. But Boss Vic called and said, no, we're keeping the title, Yung Libro Sa ko. And I trust Boss Vic because for me, he's been in the industry for so long. So when he, I guess, figures something out that it will work for your film, you have to trust that instinct. Talaga. I, like, okay I, po. I, no, I am with you. Diba? Iba po sa noon. Iba. Diba? I feel like it's the same with you also, Tito. Okay, <laughs> I always ask you for advice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this is the what interview. I've done this a couple of times with some actors, but um, okay. this is a very special interview. So, Bella, okay. what are you when you're alone? Oh my gosh, I just had this conversation five minutes ago. So I realized I'm, I'm turning into a proper introvert now. What does that mean? Proper intro. <laughs> Parang feeling ko tito ba? I'm so comfortable now with just being with myself. I'm enjoying the the quiet life, the quiet time. But it yeah. takes a journey to get there. Oh yeah, definitely. To enjoy definitely. the company of yourself. Super. And you, parang you have to be so comfortable now. Parang sanay na sanay ka na sa sarili mo para umabot ka sa point na okay kang kayong ikaw lang. Okay kang maging best friend mo. Yes. True, true. <laughs> what makes you happy now? Honestly, right now, what would make me happy is to finish my scripts. Yeah. I understand. Mm -hmm. What hurts you? Ngayon po, when I can't achieve something I really want. What do you know about love for sure? Is that it's all around us. It's really the most present thing. What can't you forgive and what can't you forget? I think I can forgive anything, but I can't forget when I guess a person isn't remorseful so I can't forget situations where I feel like there was no learning experience on both sides what is it that you want right now aside from finishing the scripts oh, gosh I want my film company to be like like a huge film company that you know people from like HBO or Amazon or whatever big streaming platform to be the film company they trust and want to get content from. What is it that you need? I need to calm down. <laughs> I need to calm down. Parang I'm in a hurry at the moment. Parang I'm trying to um, fasten things up, I guess. I'm trying to hurry the process of getting where I want to go. Okay. Sorry, it's so big, Tito Boy. No, 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 no. You yeah. want to slow down a bit. Actually, not me, but the people around me. Like, especially Norman, he always tells me not to like beat myself up for the thoughts I have or when I'm not achieving the milestones I want to achieve right away. So, and I was yeah. about to ask you, what does Norman do to you? <laughs> he treats me well. <laughs> yeah. And he slows you down. He does. Like, he paces my life well. Right. Yeah, yeah. Bella, what is it like to be you? I want to say interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Why did you use the word interesting? Interesting because it can, can, um, can mean it's fun, it can mean it's serious, it can mean that things can go wrong sometimes, but you, know, you, try, to, um, you try to find, I guess, a stable ground all the time. I think that's why I used interesting. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. What is it like to win? I would like to think I'm only starting out in my life. So the little things, or maybe that's what's wrong with me. Parang the things I could already celebrate as achievements, I think of them as I should have really done that, so it's okay. Parang I don't pat myself on the back enough. Okay. So maybe I should start, of, I, I should I start think. thinking of my wins. Yeah. I think so too. Because yeah. that can push you 
to a certain direction. True, true. Diba? true. And you can be kinder to yourself. True. I'm a Taurus kasi, Tito Boy. Very oh, bullheaded. So I like yeah. charging at things. Let's go to the opposite question. What is it like to lose? For me, it's devastating. I can't accept uh, losses too much. Because I feel like I put so much of myself into everything. Like, uh, when I work, I don't just, when I work, I'm not just an actress on set. I'm there from pre-prod. Oh. Um, I mean, I even, I write the scripts. I'm there in all the pre-prod meetings. Now I even direct the film. So I'm also there until post-prod, until editing, until scoring. I approve every part of the movies I do. So I feel like every inch of my being is now part of my films. I think of my films as having like my DNA. So when I lose or when I feel like it didn't do what I wanted it to do, I take it so badly. So I really. So, yeah. Pano, how do you handle that? To be fair, naman, I, I move on quickly from, ah. from bad stuff. I will allow myself talaga like a day to be sad or to wallow. Okay. Um, and then I'll eat something yummy or I'll go to the <laughs> beach. <laughs> I think, I know, I really try to spot where I made mistakes. Yeah. There's assessment. That's uh, super. Still, I'm very self aware. Because that's still a cerebral exercise. Yeah, too self aware. <laughs> yeah, too self aware. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best thing about Bella? Um, right now, um, Bella is comfortable in her skin. Parang I don't try to impress too much. Or I don't try to be who I'm not. What is it like to be, to be liked and to be disliked? You know, before, Tito Boy, because I was very naive in my early 20s, when I would get interviewed, they asked me, like, how would you handle haters and i would always say like you know i have all this time in the world i will prove everything wrong i i can win everybody over that was my mindset before na parang um you know if you know naman what you're doing is right and you're kind always mm -hmm. at the end of the day you will turn everybody to your side but i don't think that way anymore now um i really believe now we should allow people to dislike us when they want to that's not up to us and nothing we do can change that so being liked is super flattering, but I noticed we don't specify, we don't uh, see the specifics of why people like us. We just know they like us. But when they dislike us, we really break it down. Why do they hate me so much? What did I do? You know, we fixate over it. And that's so wrong. I'm also still figuring out how to uh, balance that. Criticism can be, can be welcome yeah. because that can, that can fuel Excellence, brilliance, yes. because you're able to assess. Yes, to a certain degree. Because sometimes you also have to reiterate that, you know, I know what I'm doing. That's why Correct. I was hired to do this. And intent is very important. If yes. the intention is to denigrate, mm -hmm. if the intention is to destroy, mm -hmm. if the intention is to humiliate, mm -hmm. I mean, block it off. Yeah, I, mean, I no, don't no, think no. that energy has to be allowed into your space. That is my opinion. Exactly. You know Yeah. You know the intention. True. To me, that's, that's very important. True. What is life like now? It's um, a lot of discoveries. A lot of discoveries. Because I'm in a new country, new city. Mm -hmm. um, I moved in 2021, but I feel like in London, every station you come out of in the train, it looks like a whole new place. So I'm constantly watching plays, walking in new streets. Um, I now know how to ride a bike in traffic um, on the other side of the road. Mm -hmm. I recently learned how to drive on the highway on the other side of the road. So I feel like a child again. Like every, every day is like a new discovery. Um, okay. But also, I've never felt more adult in my life and more tired. Because, you know, it's upkeep, the upkeep of yourself, the upkeep of your house. Things like that. Right. Yeah. And the discovery continues. Yeah, and you, I guess to a certain degree, Tito Boy, I don't have the level of protection that I felt here. And you like that? I do, but it's also, it's so exhilarating in a good and a bad way. Like, I don't walk out in London at night because I feel like it's, it's the paranoia of, is someone following me home? Like, right. you know, what do I do if, if someone actually attacks me or something like that, you know? I never had that fear here because... I guess um, I grew up here. I know what it's like. I, like, I know how to dis defend myself But that makes you vulnerable. Here. It does. And that's very interesting too because very. I've never felt that physically vulnerable before in my life. So I'm learning talaga. What means to you the most at this moment? Mga kababayan, ako'y natutuwa po. And proud to introduce to you Send Wave, the fee-free remittance app for OFWs and kababayans living abroad. You know what you do? Use my promo code BOY to receive $10 free credit 
on your first transfer. Visit the link on the description for more info. Maraming salamat. Top of my head, definitely my life at the moment. How I spend my days, how I spend, you know, my hours talaga, like the little things. But when you say, as I guess as Bella, what means to me right now is how I put my work out. How I um, present myself through my films. Like I said, I feel like my DNA is now in my films. Yep. So I'm thinking now of like, what do I leave behind? Like, what is my legacy? Like, wow. I know I'm, I'm thinking too far ahead, but this is me. You've always known Tita Bai. I, I always think like 10 years ahead or 20 years ahead. So I'm already trying to figure out like, you know, what can I leave behind? If I do get blessed with children one day, you know, what, what can they remember me by? Or what can they speak about, about me? Wonderful. Yeah. What is it like to be a child of God? It feels like the safest thing, honestly. You can be anywhere, you can be told anything, you can be in any situation and you're secure. Naalala ko lang kasi, because as a child, you spend a lot of time, you know, that whole I was experience. Preaching. I yeah. know, you were going house to house. Exactly. And you were preaching. Yeah, so. I grew up a Jehovah's Witness, so right. it, was, it was very intense. If there's one thing I'm really thankful for from my mom and my Lola from Mama Eva, it's the fact that they brought us up as Jehovah's Witnesses, because it really was my foundation as to who I am right now. What is family like right now? We have our own places in the world. I always joked with my mom, parang, because um, when I was going to leave for London, she didn't bat an eyelash, like, okay, you're leaving. Parang, it was so easy. I, we grew up, I grew up um, super duper secluded by my mom. Like, I never experienced a sleepover. Um, I wasn't allowed to go on retreats, because overnight, so she wanted me always to sleep at mm -hmm. home. Um, but when I said that I wanted to live abroad, she just let me go. Mm. So that was shocking to me. Um, and I think it's because she was also very secure that I know what I'm doing in my right. life. And, you know, she taught me well, in a sense. So, yeah. What are you like as a friend? Lately, I listen a lot. I don't speak up too much. Mm -hmm. I don't know if because. that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. You know what's funny, Tito Boy? In London right now, when I meet new people, I, um, I think about the conversations too much, the small talk. I always think, I don't need to know this about you. Like, I'm not going to see you again. Why invest? Yeah, exactly. But I don't want to invest my time. So the few friends I have, I put naman all my time no. sa kanila. But maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should no. open up to more people. I don't no. know. <laughs> no. What are you like as an actor today? I don't uh, differentiate anymore my roles on set. Parang um, I'm taking everything super seriously right now. Because eh, we feed what the audience gets, diba? Right. We are very much responsible with the content we're putting out there. Especially we're not screened so much anymore. Mm -mm. So it's scary. So I really try to be responsible with what I put out. I mean, I'm sure you're exactly the yeah. same, Tito Boy. You're, right. I know you really, mm -hmm. really think about your interviews, what you say, what you ask. and. You know, sometimes we have to remind people that because I feel like they consume our content like they're eating food. And we are in the generation where people eat food just to eat food. It's not right. for sustenance anymore. <laughs> Parang I hope they realize the amount of effort we put in to the quality content we put out. Yeah. What are you like when you're bad? I would like to know too. <laughs> <laughs> What? I can tell you what I'm like when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another conversation. Yes. <laughs> what is it that you don't have that you want so badly? An Oscar. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Bakit? I'm kidding. I say it and it happens? I know. I'm putting it out there. An, Oscar, out there. an Oscar and a BAFTA. <laughs> yeah. Don't take it back. What do you like as a woman? Um, I'm still very shy. I'm still very shy. Okay. Yeah. I'm not one. I wouldn't say... I'm comfortable in my skin, I think more with my attitude and my world views, but I'm not comfortable in my actual physical skin. Oh. I'm, I'm still quite insecure with, with okay. there are days I love my body and then there are days where I'm like, eh, I'm going to wear an oversized shirt today because, you know, I don't like how I look today particularly. Oh, okay. I think it's because I grew up doing this and we were That's always right. told, you know, lose weight here, do this, do that, work out, eat less. What if you were not a woman? If I were a man, oh my God, I'd probably be a CEO of something big right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, there's so many steps that uh, were added into my ladder because I'm a woman. Like, I feel like if I had this much ideas that I constantly 
pitch to different film companies. If I had these ideas, but I also had a pair of mm. stuff down there, yeah. I would probably own this building. <laughs> yeah. What is your love language? I like giving gifts, mm. but uh, I think also a little bit of service. Okay. Yeah, I like cooking. I like, mm. um, yeah. I think my love language is, if it's, it's not a category, but it's food. Okay. I like feeding people. What will you say now to the person, to, to that one person who, who dislikes you? God, how sad for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how to sad for person, you. I could have been your friend this whole time. <laughs> to that one person who adores uh, you. Oh, thank you so much. I need it. Like on my dark days, I, I really cling to the people who adore me. <laughs> Last question. Okay. What would you do now? If you were to die right after this interview? I would just sit here and chill. And to everyone in the room, I would say thank you. Because you were the last people I was, I, I was with. Yeah. Especially? Especially Norman. He's in the room. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, really I would say thank you. Norman. Yeah. Really <laughs> finally, Maybe. finally. But thank you. Thank you, Bella. Thank you, Tito Boy. All the best. Thank you. Same, same. Hi, people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below and you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking. Kaibigan, tuloy ang usap.